Hi, welcome to my channel, White Raven's Cauldron. This evening I'm reading for Aries, so that's Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. Could be dealing with an Aries, or you have Aries somewhere in your chart. This is going to be for October 15th. So October 15th onwards, but please remember that timing is fluid, so situations from the past could still be playing out. Um, affecting your present but we'll also take a little look into the future as well okay so what is coming towards Aries please October 15th Aries what is Aries currently dealing with okay one more shuffle spirit says okay another boss okay what is Aries currently dealing with please October 15th okay What's the challenge, please? What challenges is Aries dealing with currently? Oof. Quite a few cards wanted to come out then, Aries. Oh, the Fool. So you could be dealing with another Aries, but this is definitely your, your energy. There's something that you're either contemplating taking a risk on, um, you're concerned, you're concerned about your future, where it's going, um also concerned about possibly a partnership whether it's it's worth risking it all or not there's a lot of concern with this this to me is the universe saying sometimes you have to risk it all for something to pay off um you know you can you know it's all well and good staying on the on the safe side of life but sometimes you've got to walk right to the very edge of the cliff and take the risk of closing your eyes and jumping because you may just fall on your feet underneath. You know, there will be something else there to catch you. So let's let's take a, a deeper look. Okay, what's the strength, please, on facing this challenge for Aries? Yeah, this is a card that's it's basically saying, fuck it all. Fuck it all and take that leap of faith anyway. You know, there's, there's nothing left to lose in this situation. Life's too short is what the fool's energy is about. Life's too short. Taking a risk. Being adventurous. Maybe some of you need a bit of adventure right now in your life. Things have got boring. Yeah, four of cups reversed. Wow. Out. So you, you need something new, Aries. You definitely need something new. Something more to concentrate on. Because right now there's some depression. Some... A little bit of self-pity is going on here as well. You know, the, or again, it's not just you, it's someone you're dealing with, but things have got very stagnant. There's no excitement right now. Things are very, very boring. You've not really got much to be excited about, things to look forward to. Could be dealing with some emotional issues as well, emotional baggage, and you're missing opportunities. For some of you, I feel like something's holding you back. What's the weakness, please, when facing this challenge? What's the weakness? Could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries. Ten of Swords. Wow. So that's major betrayal. Being stabbed in the back more than once. <sighs> I'm just going to put it out there and say, Aries, when the fuck are you going to learn your lesson? That's what this card is indicating to me. When are you going to learn your lesson? You keep allowing somebody to walk all over you. And they're all right to take a risk. They're all right to be adventurous and have an exciting life. But then you have to stay at home and be the boring one. Have no excitement in your life. There's a major ending. Now, whether you want it to happen or not, it's going to happen. And I think for some of you, you're delaying it because you're in, your vibrations are very low right now. Something's very low, very off. Now, preventing this from happening is just prolonging the pain. You're prolonging something that has no, brings no sustenance to your life anymore. It's dead. It's gone. So I'm sorry if I come across across harsh. I'm an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So, you know, this resonates with me to a T. But you, you are so depressed, down. 
this is, you know, it's very rare to see an Aries down, but you are down. You're still there, you're still functioning, but you're functioning not at, in your highest potential. Let's get some advice, please. Advice. Uh, seven of Swords reversed. So you, or someone you're dealing with, has, the, first and foremost, there's a lot of paranoia with this card. A lot of paranoia. Paranoid that somebody's possibly trying to get away with something, being shady behind your back, lies, deceit. You are allowing fear to hold you back. You're not seizing opportunities. But this is also somebody being manipulative. Somebody else is trying to get away with something. They're being very sneaky, very deceptive. And they're wanting to keep you down. They want to keep your energy down. Because when you're down, you can be controlled more. This person likes to control your your Aries fireness. This is like somebody, you could be dealing with a Libra Gemini Aquarius and this is somebody blowing out your fire. This isn't somebody who fires you up. They're blowing your fire out. And they're keeping you down. They're keeping you depressed. Let's get some clarifiers. This is not an Aries. Not an Aries. Now, you know, a cross watcher, this could be you. This, you know, you could be dealing with an Aries. Let's clarify these cards on the table for Aries. Okay, clarify the full, please. Clarify the full for Aries. I can feel a couple of cards wanting to jump out, but then they're like, no, nope, fuck that. She's not going to listen or he's not going to listen. They're stuck. You're stuck somewhere. You're lost. And we've got to try and bring you back, Aries. We've got to try and bring you back. Come on, you're not talking to me this evening. What's going on? Clarify the fool, please, for our Aries. Aries Nation in the house, please comment. Let me know you're here. Share the shit out of this reading because, you know, people need to see this, need to hear this. You've got Aries friends? Fucking send it to them. There we go. Oh, the moon. Oh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Well, this, there is definitely something going on, Aries. You're not paranoid. You are not paranoid. You can feel something in your gut. You fucking know something's been hidden from you. You're not stupid. And that's what this fool's saying. You're not fucking stupid. You know something's going on. You can feel it in your bones, but you don't have either enough evidence to act on it. You, you don't know what to do, where to go, but you know... Something is being hidden. Yes. Okay, what's the Four of Cups reversed for Aries, please? Four of Cups reversed for Aries. Four of Cups reversed for Aries. Clarify the Four of Cups reversed for Aries. There we go. Oh, no fucking way. Ten of Swords, and we've got Ten of Swords here. <sighs> you are feeling utterly betrayed by something. Utterly betrayed, devastated. Major, major depression. You are being oppressed. Somebody is oppressing you. Somebody is doing emotional manipulation, harm. Some of you could be even, you know, suffering physical harm and you're not telling anybody about it. Harding it. You are being stabbed in the back repeatedly, Aries. And you need to see this. You need to get the fuck up. You know, the sun in the background in these two cards is, is trying to shine through. But you're too busy here on the floor being oppressed by somebody. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Aries. You need to let this happen, Aries. You need to... I'm sorry to say it, you need to suffer, you need to grieve, you need to go through the motions and the process because it's almost like you finish something but then this person manages to worm the way back in and the hurt process starts all over again and possibly because you don't like 
the feelings of letting go of something that needs to end. It's scary and you don't want to be alone, but this person is just going to continue. Surprise the wheel here to say this is just a cycle, a never ending cycle. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Sorry that you, this, you're going through this Aries. You know, if I can get the person by the throat, I would. Because ain't nobody got the right to do this to an Aries. King of, well, Prince of Coins. It could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Mm, this is stable, grounded energy. Somebody very reliable. Something's coming in in regards to finances, but it's coming in extremely slowly. It's very, very slow. It's, it's taking its time. But this will come in when this ending has completed. This can't come in while this person or situation is still going on in your life. It's preventing it and that's what's slowing it down. But there could be somebody coming in to offer help. What's the Seven of Swords reversed? I mean, this could also be somebody who's just hanging around for the money because then it's coming as well. Somebody with a hidden agenda. Seven of Swords reversed, please, for Aries. Somebody's got a hidden agenda. I've just, they have. Yeah, the Tower reversed. Permanent loss. This is a permanent, shocking, devastating loss because of actions, because of deceit in the past. You need to let this happen. You need to let this tower fall and let it fall for good. Don't try and fucking rebuild with broken bricks. You need to let this happen, Aries. You need to let it happen. Mm. If you don't allow it to happen, then things are just going to continue to get worse. They just get worse and worse and worse. This is arguments, it's trauma, frustration, destruction. Someone's in destruction mode. Final outcome, please. Ooh, six of swords. Moving on, good. I'm glad to see that. One more for final outcome. You're going to move on from this. You're going to start again. Some of you may be physically moving, country, state. But you will move on from this. And, and, and you will move on learning your lessons. There's a lot of red flags that you've missed. But you will move on from it. And I feel you'll be moving on from an air sign. One more for the final outcome for Aries. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. The eight of wands. Fast movement. You'll be moving fast. You are not going to slow down for no fucker. This is fast forward movement. This is an end to delays. There's travel. Could be travel by air, but this is good news coming in. You know, good news because this is going right towards this Prince of Coins. This is pointing right towards him. So this is fa good news coming in quickly. And it's going to help you move on into more stable, calmer waters. Let's get a wisdom of the night, please, for Aries. I have to be real careful with these cards because it's well hard to see on camera, but the corners are so fucking sharp. I've actually been thinking about snipping them because when you're shuffling, it's like getting stabbed. It's like holding a hedgehog or porcupine or something. Wisdom of the night for Aries, please. Wisdom of the night for Aries. Oh, oh fuck off. That's too many. One card for Aries, please. One card. Archangel Michael saying you need to go. Go, go, go. When this information comes in, that's why that falls there behind the moon. When this is when you've got the information, when everything's revealed, go. Just go. Don't look back. You know that six of swords, she's not looking back. She is moving right towards a better successful future. Message, yes. Same as this eight of wands. That's what the eight of wands is. Message is coming in. Okay, the Queen of the Moon Oracle for Aries, please. Yes, good news travels fast, Aries. Oh, God, good news travels fast. Unfortunately, you've got to go through the shit. You know, it's like that's rainbow after a storm. Rainbow after a storm. One card for Aries, please. Some of these cards are charged under the, uh, the full moon and they're just like so pumped that I'm getting like six, seven cards falling out at once. One card for Aries, please. Ooh, 
resistance. Well, I think we know what that one's going to be, don't we? Okay, so the first card, message. Maybe someone will text you something nice or you will find out about something in a phone call from a friend. Perhaps a letter will come in the mail. Maybe I will send you a sign in nature that will point you to the right direction. Regardless of what you ask, you will soon know the answer or at the very least know the way. A message is coming. Choose another card if you need to know what the message will be about. Well, I said, I said, didn't I, about news coming in with the eight of wands. One more card, please. To clarify the message card, what's coming towards Aries? One more card, what's coming towards Aries? Ooh. Wow. So we've... Wow. Wow. Uh, so we've got two cards. Um, we got wishing and priestess of fire. Now I'm going to have to read them both. <laughs> My dear one, I hear your prayers. I know your heart, and I know what is for your highest good. Dreams do come true. Make sure your dream serves your highest purpose and does not take away from another. Be careful what you wish for. Remember the coins tossed in a wishing well. For every wish, there is a price to be paid. Are you ready to spend the time and energy that your granted wish will require? Now is the time that your wish will be fulfilled. Now this second card is, is an Aries card. Whenever she arrives, she reminds you of your ability to create your own reality and to choose how you channel your energy. If you are restless, call upon the High Priestess of Fire for inspiration and joy. She will release you from the trap of boredom. Fire brings warmth and light, but it also burns when it is allowed to get out of control. Spend your energy creatively, not impulsively, and guard yourself against burning out. Use your fire wisely and let your light shine brightly. Well, that makes complete sense. Now, the resistance card. This is asking you to familiarise yourself with how resistance manifests for you. The overt and the covert. If you continue to have doors slammed in your face, turn around. There will normally be an open door. Procrastination is just another kind of fear. Move forward with consistence. Well, with consistence, yeah, be consistent. With persistence and confidence. So you are resisting something. You are resisting something. You're getting distracted. You need to get rid of a bad habit, an addiction, a pattern. You know, you need to release. There's a lot of battles going on. And, you know, you might have to fight more than one. But being resilient and vigilant and, and, and fight, you know, you will win. You will win, Aerie. So I'll leave the reading there. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates. Like, share, subscribe the shit out of this. Keep your kitchen, which have you by giving me a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon.